My name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I am also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this audio presentation, I'll be discussing fatty liver. Fatty liver refers to a group of conditions in which there is an excessive accumulation of fat in the liver. In fatty liver, fat accumulates in the liver cell despite absence of alcohol consumption. In some patients, fatty liver is associated with inflammation and scarring of the liver, leading to cirrhosis. Fatty liver is a very common condition, affecting up to 20% of adult population. Obesity is the most common cause of fatty liver. In fact, up to 75% of obese individuals are found to have fatty liver. The majority of patients with fatty liver do not have any symptoms associated with the condition. In fact, fatty liver is most often diagnosed on a routine blood test in otherwise asymptomatic individual. In patients with fatty liver, there is a mild degree of elevation of liver enzyme called ALT and AST. The diagnosis of fatty liver requires imaging studies of the liver, such as ultrasound. To confirm the diagnosis of fatty liver, Common causes that are also known to elevate the liver enzymes, including certain medications, viral hepatitis, autoimmune liver disease, and inherited liver disease need to be excluded. The most reliable means of diagnosing fatty liver is by performing a liver biopsy. Although most patients with fatty liver have little or no problem, up to 25% of patients may go on to develop chronic scarring of the liver as a result of chronic inflammation in the liver. This may lead to a complication known as cirrhosis, where most of liver cells are replaced by scar tissue. In cirrhosis, liver is unable to function properly due to insufficient number of functioning liver cells. Patients with cirrhosis often develop problems such as bleeding, fluid in the abdomen called ascites, yellowing of the skin called jaundice, and even confusion and altered level of consciousness. These patients may eventually require transplantation of the liver. In addition, there appears to be a significant risk of developing the cancer of the liver called hepatoma in patients with fatty liver. The treatment of fatty liver involves weight reduction, dietary modification, increase in physical activity and exercise, and avoidance of alcohol and unnecessary medications. It is also important to control diabetes and cholesterol in patients who are affected by these conditions. Thank you for listening.